when we got one. So, the Stone Age, tell me a bit about the Stone Age. Where did the people come from? Well, we were once all connected to Europe. Britain was once connected to Europe. Um, so people didn't ever invade, they just migrated. Okay. And Ireland was also connected to Britain. Oh, so it was one big, massive area. Yeah. Um, and where did they go once they came? Um, well, tombs and tools constructed throughout the period have been found all over Britain from the tip of Cornwall right up to the north of Scotland. Um, and the largest concentration has been found of the artefacts, I don't have to do this again, are we? Has been found in Wiltshire, southern England, including the Uppington White Horse. And so tell me a really interesting fact about the Stone Age people. They brought about new ideas about farming. Um, so they went from nomadic hunters to settled farmers. Okay, that's cool. So the Bronze Age, where did people come from in the Bronze Age? Well, they didn't really come anywhere new. They were already here from the Stone Age. It's just the methods of creating new tools and artefacts change. That's why we regard it as a new period in time. Okay, so where, where were people settled in these islands? Well, again, they didn't come anywhere new, so they didn't exactly go anywhere new. But from research, it's been proven that there's been large... Um, Mines found in Great Arm in Northern Wales, Ross Island, County Kerry, Mount Gabriel and County Rock in Ireland. So we know that they definitely did go to those places. Okay, so give me an interesting fact. Well, something that I find quite interesting is that although we call it the Bronze Age, the first metal to be created was actually copper and not bronze. I think that's quite interesting. <laughs> How do I stop it? <laughs> Where did the people come from and where did they go in Britain? Well, um, in, I'm going to start with England because their Iron Age was 800 BC to the Romanisation of Britain around 43 AD and um, there were many tribes that settled in their country and um, I'll list a few. There's um, the Brugantes, they, they were in Yorkshire, Midland sort of area. Then there was the uh, Parisi uh, in the Yorkshire sort of area too. Um, we had the Iceni in Norfolk, I think that might be over here. Um, Corvoni in Shropshire, uh, Cortilavi in the East Midlands, um, Dobruni in Bristol, uh, Trio, Trio Vantes in Essex and Suffolk, and um, there was the Cantisi in Kent. Oh, that's very interesting. Have you got any um, interesting facts that you want to share? Um, yes, I have, yes. Um, all of this is reported by um, Pauli Paul Timi, he's a, a Roman geographer, so this is where all this information is coming from, and he was pretty much the daddy of geography back then. Brilliant. So, where did the people go in Scotland? Um, there were many Celtic tribes in, in Scotland as well, and um, there were the Otani in East Scotland, um, we had the te Texahali in North East Scotland up here somewhere. Then we've got the uh, Vakaimi and they were in what right the Northern Scotland up here. Where did the people go in Wales? Uh, well, that's interesting you asked that actually because there was a few main tribes and um, one of the main ones was the Ordovis and they were in Mid Wales and part of England as well. Um, mm. Then we had the Di Di Decanically, they were in North East Wales, over here somewhere. Um, then we had the Celiors, they were in South East Wales, somewhere around here. And the Demente, they were in South West Wales, so that's down here. <laughs> and what about an island, Danny? Where did they go there? Interesting you ask that, actually, because the Irish Iron Age was at a slightly different period, because it was never conquered by the Romans, so it happened slightly later. But um, there was a few main tribes in Ireland as well. The Venici were in uh, Northwest Ireland. Um, the <laughs> the Rob Robiki were in Northern Ireland. Um, Iblani were in just north of Dublin, and then the Kelsey were north of Dublin as well. So that's kind of where they were.